You are about to see the most amazing pictures ever made. The assassination of King Alexander of Yugoslavia. The ill-fated ruler arriving in Marseille aboard the Yugoslavian cruiser Dubrovnik is visiting France on a mission of extreme importance. The final move in critical negotiations he hopes will cement the goodwill relationships of Yugoslavia, Italy and France and banish the specter of war from the Adriatic and Middle Europe. As he hastens ashore, where thousands are waiting to greet him and welcome him to France, the Balkan ruler is in a happy mood. He is on the eve of his greatest triumph, international amity for his country in the family of nations. And what a welcome he gets as he sets foot on French soil on the Quai des Belles in the ancient French port. He's to be escorted in regal fashion through the city to the railroad station, accompanied by the aged French foreign minister, Louis Barthou, mastermind of Europe's tangled diplomacy. To Barthou, too, the morrow in Paris promises the fruition of his greatest work for France, the building of a Latin Slavic bulwark across southern Europe against Germany and Hitlerism. And so the Balkan monarch and the revered French statesman begin their fateful ride the ride of death, little dreaming of the terrible catastrophe that awaits them a block or so away. Police line the streets, and a mounted escort rides ahead, but no trouble is expected. It's a gala day in Marseille. Vive Alexander! Vive Le Roi! Oh, they've been shot! of Europe. 